We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter, and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of Come. course. Of course. Quiet. She is a friend. Now. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy? Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The Giants. Faye herself had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet, who we would fight. All of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seekran. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. She's so loyal. I... Clever. Mm-hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. Quiet. <laughs> I just hope the Norns are somewhere indoors, and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimble Winter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough.
magically sealed. Something in me is giving it power. The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. <laughs> Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. Open up. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. <laughs> Thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. Hold that thought. I think it's about to get violent. <laughs> This is the area. Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. <laughs> Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! Oh! Ah! Kill it! Go on, right? 
get more dangerous then we keep looking back to the wolves then <laughs> the wolves have picked up another trail <laughs> keep following their heads Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It strains credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. <laughs> The threads of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic. Nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Brother, seems the wolves have led us here. We need to work our way up. This way. There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the Norns making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. <laughs> More of your friends. I didn't tell them to be here. into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Feel something. It's stronger this time. 
Over here. <laughs> We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? <laughs> is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. in our own minds yet. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. Like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Ah! 
Mamir of the AC. Ah, here we go. Counselor to kings. Mary Wanderer of the Woods. Robin of the Good Feathers. Let me guess. I'm a long-winded know-it-all and I cannot change. See? You forgot smartest man alive. <laughs> Well, certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mimir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Aim for the runic core! Bloody hell! Look at that thing! Give yourself an opening! You'll waste it! Uh, no. Another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. <clears throat> There's that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. Hey, how very dare you? Babbling. Oh, that looks official. My boy. I feel everything. Walter, listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here. Wait! Walter, come back! Talk to me! It's all yours, doing, mother! 
Good. Man, a counselor for me, an ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Scott? To Grog? Or to Tanya? No! You are to the side of the powerful men who use Brother, watch out! There's more of them! Even now, you see a violent guy and you can't help but hate him and call him brother! It's who you always say! Who you are! And it's who It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the thief! It's pulling me in! Mamiya! Brother, help me! The monster! Atreus! I am coming! Give me help! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! Why would not you see him the way he wants to be seen? I don't want him to be back! He's a murderer! He's a murderer! That's all I have to do. And now he's mine. He killed his own family! Atreus! I am here! He's a bad guy! I'm not safe with him! Pass the test. Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the Norns put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs>
were here. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> You know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. No, oh. oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but called, you called him, him the, the destroyer, destroyer of, of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. Protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my son, son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in story craft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was... educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. 
Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. <gasps> Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother, before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. <sighs> Tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah. The inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear. What's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Neethog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the Leanworms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. The capture device, if you would. They're back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. I have news. Oh, 
Did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying? So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, little one. Oh! <laughs> Not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit the lady. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> huh? Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on. See you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. No, oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your fretting. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you. Shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, 
think the fuck again.